Jordan business practices. Good afternoon, like it's Connecticut. Hold on, let me pause. Yeah, this is some Romanian YouTube channel. I watch ranting away here. Um, the, the the Gamergate thing. Here, here's what happened. I want to show you something. I want to give a warning out to anyone on YouTube. Um, something happened the other day. I am not happy about it because the way I look at it is I was told by, um, we'll say Alphabet Incorporated. I don't even want to say their name. Papa Overlord. Um, I left a comment on a video. It was the Star Wars Outlaw trailer, the one that has a huge dislike ratio. And the comment I left was, it was three words, DEI equals normalizing, and the last word deals with underage chocolate starfish. There, I can use that word because the censorship ain't going to pick that word. Look, they're about to crack down on anyone talking about the subject. Because I was told I was spreading hate speech. And I had a comment deleted off YouTube. And threatened to, to lose my YouTube channel. And my Google account. Here. I got a screenshot. I can hold a grudge for a very long time. This is not something I take lightly. I look at it as keep your mouth shut about. You know. Alright. I'm not going to say it. But this is the dumb games they want to play. And here's the issue today. Uh, Stellar Blade was released yesterday. I don't have a PlayStation 5, so I can't play it, but I would. And the whole point is Stellar Blade. Listen, I grew up playing Atari in 19... <laughs> I was young. My uncle lived with us. And he had an Atari. And I, used to, I learned how to play as a kid. And then I got Nintendo for Christmas one year, Mario Brothers, Legend of Zelda. I grew up through the 90s. Now, the 90s was the golden age of video games, movies even. You know, it was no big deal to see a 16-bit pixelated nipple in a video game. Okay. Um, in fact, I got a couple games on my hard drive. I play them because they're actually fun. They're puzzle solving games, actually. <laughs> but I, they're not on my Steam account because I don't want them. I don't give. I don't give a shit, people. I just don't want. One of them I downloaded because um, it has a fishing game in it. Yeah, it was waifu stuff. But what? All right, the deal is, Stellar Blade was supposed to release to people, and then I'll show you the. Went no censorship because the uh, the woman in the game was scanned off a real Korean model, and the game developers promised people the game would not be censored. However, because of the agenda money, I'm not even going to say the word because I'll show you why in a second. Um, they made the developers patch the game. And patch out some of the blood, some of the revealing outfits. Meanwhile, games like Baldur's Gate 3, which I play tested. I've been, I've been a fan of Larian games. You can go on my Steam account and look. I've been playing Divinity for years. So, um, there's other woke games out there. I, I haven't played them, but I heard The Last of Us, which has a man thing in it. Where there's full sex, oh, cyberpunk, I haven't played cyberpunk, but I know there, there's full nudity, full sex, big deal. It's 2024, why the hell are we even having a debate about naked humans in the first place? Because, I told you, give it a few weeks and people like me are not conspiracy theorists anymore. And this is, you know, now everyone, they're, they're trying to boycott Sony and try to get the game repat. It's false advertising. If you bought Stellar Blade on PS5, uh, I'm telling you right now, you are eligible for a class action lawsuit for false advertising. Because it's not the product you were promised. 
They were so triggered by this game, they made up a racist slur. I'm from Philly. I've heard every racist slur out there. I heard ones that you never even heard. I heard slang from the hood. And what they're doing is drawing. There goes some slang for you. Yeah, drawing. Means you're, uh... You want, so go tell these people, go hawk in China. That's Yiddish for go shit in the ocean. So, uh, here it is, right here. So, five minutes after I left that comment on the Star Wars Outlaw trailer, I never got this on YouTube before. Can you read that? Comment removed. We discovered your comments have left, you left, may violate community guidelines for hate speech policies. I have, look, I'm in few, and my comment was, those letters equal normalizing, yeah, underage chocolate starfish abusers, okay? There you go. Use your imagination for that word. They want to be stupid with censorship, though. So they basically threatened me. You will lose the ability to comment or even have your channel terminated. Have feedback, let us know. Yeah, let me leave some feedback. You wonder how I interpret this? I need legal counsel. And the main reason why would be for discovery in a court of law. Why did I leave that comment? Why is it not that? And why do I even think that in the first place? And I don't give a shit. I'll tell the judge right in the courtroom. And the judge will probably freak you out because the judge is probably a Freemason or an Obama judge. And I don't give a shit either. It's kind of, oh, this is, it's ironic. When I took the screenshot, look at the devil behind here. That's the devil from South Park. Games Workshop, Stanford. Oh, yeah. 40K, Warhammer. A man's, um, you know who play it? White men, mostly. Nerds. They screwed that up. They went woke, and now they're trying to make, um, beam. They're, they're trying to change the lore so they could put a show on Amazon. So here, here's how I'm going to fire back because they're trying to do all these shows. Um, I'm warning you right now. They're about to nuke a lot of people talking anything about this uh, agenda stuff. It's going to be the elections are coming up. This subject is going to be the equivalent of the 17th letter of the alphabet back in the uh, 2020 election, John. How they censored all that stuff. And anything about the plan. That, yeah, the sticky thing. This is going to be the, me the next mass censorship. I have never gotten a comment removed notification on YouTube before. Have you? Alright, I got a screenshot. And I was accused of H-A-T-E speech. For saying that something was normalizing. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, it was uh, trying to protect children. And I'm supposed to just not let this get to me. And keep my mouth shut about it. Alright, I'm done with the video. This is getting out of hand. People are going to revolt. And when they find out what this bullshit is all about, because you have serious gamers. And most of the gamers out there, there's a petition to, um, here it is, Free Stellar Blade. People are petitioning Sony. And yeah, the, these people here, if you pre-bought the game, you got a class action lawsuit for false advertising. Here, here's some of the people. They made videos about the petition. Hello, my name is Michael Lyon, and I bought a PS5 because I wanted to play Stellar Blade. I was promised that this game would be no censorship, unedited, unraw, just a, just a and it great, was in amazing, the trailer, buddy. You got even a class the game of the year lawsuit. contender. I think that it's not fair and okay that Sony has decided to censor the game, especially right at the release date. I think that's false advertising. I think that's it not is. fair to the developers. They patched it the day of release. And did not give what the developers made, what game the developers had made. They were so triggered by it, 
they they trumpetized it. They went in there and looked at they they looked at all their graffiti in the game, and there was a word called. I'm not even going to say it because you'll probably get banned off YouTube for that. Supposedly it was a racist slur. I never heard of freaking this racist slur in my life. It was bullshit. And the game developers are Korean. So they got over on the Koreans by saying, oh yeah, that's slang racism in Amer America. And the developers even changed it. It wasn't good enough for them. So they edited out a lot of the, the blood and gore. 2024, why are we even having a debate? And you know what's funny? The hypocrisy of these people. For many years, the deep state was into the sexualization of people because it attacks the root chakra, the sex chakra. So, yeah, every everything was over-sexualized. Like I said, I grew up in the over-sexualized 90s, okay? But now it's, it's an issue. when people, they're like, well, okay, really, what the fuck is this about? Oh, there's been a few people who have figured it out, but that words that term has been banned off Google also. Child and it rhymes with broom. Umer. Yeah, because a lot of people were using that in regards to Disney. Which they were doing. And now uh, the left is trying to make you believe the apocalypse is about to come if Orange Man becomes president. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, this is what it revolves around. Cut a man's tongue out and it doesn't mean he's lying. It means you're afraid of what he's going to say. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Some of the... the yeah, they, they patched out some of her cleavage, um, and some of the outfits, and whatever. I think at the Star Wars Outlaws video, because, you know, Star Wars, they're, they're trying, trying to salvage that shit. It's a lost cause. I don't know if my comment was flagged by someone on the channel directly to YouTube. I wouldn't doubt it if YouTube had a direct link to Lucasfilm and Disney. It wouldn't surprise me there. We know they had one with Adam Schiff and everything that was going on around that time with the 17th letter of the alphabet and the sticky thing. It was Adam Schiff who got a hold of Google. We know who it was and had certain accounts banned for covering certain things. Also people that were covering J6, but I didn't really cover a lot of J6 stuff, so. There you go. And at the end of the day, my video is still on this channel about trans who magic. Because that's a word half the fucking employees at YouTube don't even know what it means. So they can't censor it. Because like I said, they have no idea who they're even working for. You want to know who they're working for? Go watch my video. The last video I made about vultures. So, I was a little angry yesterday. That's why I didn't make a video. There's no other way to interpret this. Besides, keep your fucking mouth shut about trying to protect children. Or we'll terminate your YouTube channel. How you like that? We'll trumpinate you. Yeah. They're making up shit in Stellar Blade to get it censored because they're triggered because it's got a sexy woman in it. People are trying to boycott Sony now. And I heard there's all kinds of shit going there. Death threats and whatever. This is fucking ridiculous. And at the end of the day, um... People are going to figure out what it what it really is that they're trying to do. They would have had no problem if this chick right here looked like, um, yeah, you see where I'm going at with this. If the game was called Stellar Boy, alright, let me stop there. So yeah, have you gotten one of these on YouTube? Because this is interesting. And I don't I don't take being accused of H A T E lightly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Any questions or comments, leave them below. 
The war is on. Everything is falling apart for them right now. And it's karma. Bite them in the ass. You see what's going on in the Supreme Court? Yeah. The orange man. Long story short, I'm not going to go into detail about it. There's political analyst YouTube channels that'll go into detail about it. I'm not, but long story short, some of the justices at SCOTUS are calling out the hypocrisy of what they're doing, and they don't like it. They were bringing up examples of other presidents, like uh, when we interned the Japanese people during World War II. Well, did that not have presidential immunity and uh, yeah it's, it's they're not liking it good and I also found out um, there's another all of them everyone who's going after the orange man has millions and millions and millions of dollars in their bank accounts funneled to them through none other than yeah who you think Soros um, and George Soros is trying to buy a major radio station in our country right now that manages, I think it's like, I don't know if it's two or four hundred local radio stations to more for more propaganda. I think there is uh, somebody in the government. Roy Chip might be trying to stop them. I think that's about it. I did some math too. Tell me this don't piss you off, all right? The $61 million that they just gave to the Slavics over there, the Russians call that guy over there um, drug addict, um, uh, nasty word, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> they could have gave every citizen of the United States $17,400. That's the other thing you need to tell Democrats. Oh, why are you voting for Republicans, because every time a Republican is president, we we get money. George Bush gave us a three hundred dollar stimulus check. Donald Trump bought my workstation. I got a twelve hundred dollar stimulus, another six hundred dollar stimulus. I used the twelve hundred for the workstation, six hundred in live streaming gear. Why is it when Republicans make presidency, we get money? Meanwhile, with Democrats in there, Obama didn't give a shit. Biden didn't give a shit. He could have bought votes. But no, he's too greedy. They're, they're too fucking greedy. And it's showing. God forbid you give your own citizens, uh, you know, a few shekels to pop, you know. Then you can go on, you know, and say they could actually report something positive about Joe Biden for once. No, God forbid they did that. Yeah, I figured it out. $61 billion divided by $350 million. It was like $17,000 a person. Yeah. And that's not uh, any reference to that 17th letter of the alphabet. It actually is the math. Go do it. Comes out to exactly, I think, 17400 If I did my math right, I don't know. Maybe I put too many zeros in the calculator, but... <laughs> They could have easily floated another $1,200 stimulus check to every citizen of this country and at least help people out. But no. Fucking greedy scum. Um, and now we're being told to keep your mouth shut about helping children. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who that's H-E-T-E -E speech to. Like, who the fuck did I direct that to? It was a general statement that I made. Well, it seems like someone got triggered over that comment. Like I said, give it a few weeks. You'll find out I'm not a conspiracy theorist. And I've been right the whole time. And God help the children because I know I am. Every day something ain't done about this more... More of them have to suffer. Anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. God bless and take care.